destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. There is nothing to be waited for. It is to be achieved. That is what I have learned. It is October of 2018, two years since the Iron War, a war between the International Special Alliance Forces and the Rombach Foundation that spread across the world. The following year gave rise to a Rombach remnant, the Project 9 insurgency. The battle started on the high seas and drove that horde of mercenaries and scientists deeper and deeper into the New Guinea highlands. In desperation, the Project 9 launched a massive offensive against Australia, seizing its Interceptor Citadel superweapon and preparing to use it for a revolution. They would have succeeded had it not been for the efforts of an Irish ace pilot, the local wing commander, and an enslaved scientist. Following their crushing defeats, the survivors of Project 9 were exiled to Indonesia, where they continued to stir events to their advantage according to our spies. That was the Iron War's story, so far. Other tragedies have emerged since then. During August, a pollution-spawning sea monster from a past war of the Pacific approached Australia. But the Navy did not attack out of fear of releasing its deadly spawn into Australian waters. This creature, Dagarla, made landfall in Sydney and devastated the city before moving on to Newcastle. The government was thrown into chaos, and in the confusion gave the ill-advised order to attack the creature. Dagarla was fatally wounded and flew out to sea, where it died and contaminated the surrounding waters with huge numbers of its Balaam spawn. These ghastly creatures not only infected Australian citizens with a terrible plague, but also heavily polluted Australia's waters in an event that would come to be known as the Red Winter Plague. The following September, our government fell apart and our nation teetered on the verge of collapse once more. Just when we thought a time of prosperity would come after the invasion, dark times have befallen us and desolation is all to be seen for far around. In the dust and echoes, we continue to live. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. How was the trip here? Best it can be. Ah, Major Byrne. How nice to see you again. So, Director Hobbs, a pleasure to meet you again. You wanted to speak with me? Yes, it seems as though you've been up to quite a fair amount of things. What happened to you out west? I would like the full story. Well, I was returning from overseas conflict to my heritage homes in Winton and Cloncurry. There I encountered an old enemy, an extremist whose evil plot forced me to take a terrible chance, as I employed to make myself a human weapon. Yes, I kind of figured that you would be a vigilante or an outback warrior deep inside. Using bush ranger armor and, chiefly, non-lethal weapons, I attacked biker gangs and that man's extremist group. Well, I suppose I should thank you for keeping our rather frail security situation intact. But we'll have to talk more about this later. Right now, what you have done remains a closely guarded secret. Understood? Yes, sir. We already have enough to deal with with this disease already. We are all working together to try and find a cure for this dreadful plague. Of course, but in this day and age, we need to be careful about conspiracies and fake news. If someone tarnishes the image of this cure, we might see the entirety of Victoria and New South Wales sent under. Counselor? Good morning, gentlemen. Why are you here, Counselor Lindenbaum? I'm here to discuss your military's future, as well as its ambitions. You want to eavesdrop in on our conversation? I'd be interested to see what your plans are, too. Now then, Captain Horatio, weren't you going to say something? Ashling Lotus and I are getting ready to bring this project forward to ISAF Command and the Australian Department of Defence. This air-sea battle project. Let me guess, another Sky Masters original. Precisely. I find your project intriguing. This may help in the coming months. What do you mean by that? 
which I presume brings us to what I have to share. Investigations conducted by ISAF and my spy department have revealed that the Republic of Indonesia was secretly supporting the Brabant Foundation's campaign in Oceania way back in the first Iron War of 2016. The Foundation has gained considerable power in Indonesia as it greatly assisted with rebuilding the nation after the invasion. And this is the greatest weapon the Foundation supplied them with. So this is the last of their carriers? Absolutely. The Brabok Navy had four of those home plates. That is quite a reasonable force. I remember watching from the space station as they almost destroyed the Free Papuan resistance in West Papua. They want to spread power with this? Possibly. But that is the main weapon the Brabok supplied them with. A medium-range ballistic missile of some kind. Are you serious? Yes. We need to know more about their weapon. If former Ravak and Project 9 officers have seized political power in their hands, it's only a matter of time until they resume their fight for the Pacific. Absolutely. And we are the only people in position to stop it. Defense emergency! Defense emergency! All forces are to be on alert. Oh, train. now what? The meeting will have to wait, gentlemen. I should have known this was going to happen. Are you coming with us? Oh, yes. While on this side of the atmosphere, I'm a part of Meteor Squadron. And I'm still pretty good with the evil. Go. There is no time. Then let's go. Good luck. Give those men what they've deserved for a long time now. There have been many other incidents and events abroad over the past few months. From Commander Belladonna's task force breaking out of captivity from the Cambodians, to a battle between India, Pakistan and our forces in the Indian Ocean, to the aforementioned shootouts in southwest Queensland. Now it has all come to this decisive end. Iron War II has begun. they maintain air dominance, it's a losing fight. We cannot lose Townsville again. Are there any special mission units in the area that we can request? Uh, command's got a bush ranger team at Torrance Creek. Call sign, Harrier. Harrier is up on green set. This is Viper. Understand we are up con to you. Over. Glad to have you in our quarter, Viper. The Golden Book Remnant is currently using electronic countermeasures to jam our comms and guidance systems. The primary emission tower is believed to be in Saunders Beach or Tulakia. I need your team to destroy it. The jammer is full spectrum, so unless it's down, you'll have no radio contact with C2. I have ground and air access to get you close. Over. Copy all. We'll get it done. As we fought in the Baltics and Cambodia, we've been hearing the tales of our private military allies who have risen to glory following the cutting of our own force. But now the battles have changed, 
and with them, the stories. The stories of our closest allies trapped in an all-out campaign in northern India, or pioneer security leading a task force against advanced terrorists in Eastern Europe. We've listened to the legends of Pioneer's top ace defending America from the Golden Rook plan, or fighting their ace squadron with such ferocity, it's like they were hunting ghosts. This sudden enemy that rose was a remnant of the Golden Rook Plan private army, founded and led by the greedy businessman Andre Olivieri as part of his plan. Although Pioneer Security eliminated the army before it could bring Olivieri's plan to fruition, it seems someone in this part of the world was using these men for his own corporate gains. Now we've heard those stories, listen to the legends. People say this is a fight for a lost cause. But don't they realize those are the only kind worth fighting for? This is Harrier 01. All Bush Rangers report in. Harrier 02 Flamingo reporting in. 03 reporting. 04 Quail reporting in. Copy all. Proceed with your objectives while I go trash that jammer. Walleye Battalion report in. This is Walleye Actual. We are on station. Netrusion has commenced. Leather Jacket 3 4 is on station in Tamala. Contact them if you need an immediate netrusion. Alright, let's get these things up and running. Get ready, man! Go in, we've got your back. This is Catfish Leader. The strike team's breaching the gate. We're letting them have it now. Roger, we've got plenty of ammo just waiting to be used. The strike team is breaching enemy perimeter. Shots fired. The combination of Pioneer Security, our catfish company, and infantry? This will be interesting. All units, midnight, midnight, command and control offline. Enemy to our left, exchanging fire. Get some, bitches. And they're hiring Project 9 creatures. Are we really sinking this low, boys? We're moving up. Watch your flanks, this is a good place for an ambush. How well armed are these guys? Ah, uh, don't worry, Private. Without a cybernetic infantry devices, we have the upper hand. Tangos have spotted us! Zero two here, I'm engaged. Damn, I need more firepower. Oh wait, here it is. Come at me now, suckers. Look at them all. No way you're getting your factory open now. Go home, this doesn't concern you. Yeah, tell that to someone who gives a rats. The forces are breaching the first hideout. Can't run away from me. Second hideout's clear. Good work, Pioneer teams. Casper, get out of here. Shoot, shoot. I'm almost to the jammer. Drones overhead, they spotted us. A uh, Viper, we're gonna be busy. Wallet war forces, uniform 3-4 is under attack. The enemy has drones in the sky. Be careful. Go into the trees, we're pressing on. For Queensland. That did it. The jammer's offline. Roger that, Harrier. We're directing a hunter drone to your location. Copy, Soul Wave. I'll let him have it now. Our radar is back online. We are now fully able to provide electronic support. All Harrier 1, we're moving location. Now it's up to our fly boys. 
This is Solway. The radar jammer has been destroyed. All fighter squadrons, report in. This is Whereaway 1. Guidance systems are back online. Standing by. Whereaway 2, ready for orders. This is Scorpius 1. Standing by. Murmurite 1, standing by. Meteor flight, standing by. It's payback time. Meteor 2, roger that. Here we come. Let's go get him. All squadrons, you are clear to engage. Weapons free. I have the enemy Cyclops on radar. They're moving to attack. Engaging. That's a lot of guys. We have missiles in the air. Locked on. Box 3. Box 3. We're waiting. Box 1. Box 1. UAV is a break formation. Shields up. This is Zion 1. Target point reached. Commencing attack. Boomerang 1. Targeting the enemy ammo depot. Time has got what is coming for them. Disconnect autopilot. Activate Antares. Entering attack mode. Acquire target. Firefox 2. Got him. All UAVs offline. Look out. I'm seeing fighters with those drones. New hostile contacts. Enemy MiG 29s. Bearing 180 Angels 20. Looks like MiGs. Engaging. Next target. The damn weather's picking up. Ibis moving to attack. Firing laser cannons. Flash one. One's on my tail. You're not getting me. Moving to D-Louse, you Ibis. Fire and EML. Drive, drive. We're still pinned down here. Somebody take out those MG positions. Meteor one, roger that. Napalm is on fire. Meteor number three is closing in. Get out of there, sir. Not to worry. I've got something for him. Laser away. Good night. That's a grand slam. All enemy aircraft down. We're away. This is Villain. Sending target down. We're away to firing strikers. It's Harrier 1 to any air support. We're inside the mining tunnel but are under heavy fire. Pressing back up over. Roger that. I'm going in. We're in one crash. God damn it. No, we flew into the tunnel. All targets in the tunnel destroyed. You nailed them. Bloody nice work. We're away to all targets on the beach destroyed. This is Villain. Sending target data. Bomber Squadron, you are cleared to proceed. Destroy the nickel refinery. We're at Blackbeam. We're at the tech radar. Get ready. Verify initial strike from the hunter team. Sir, it appears all sites have been neutralized. See, officer, we lay that to Australian command. Yes, sir. We regained air dominance over Queensland and pushed the front line back to Palm Island. The final targets are the two cargo ships near Rattlesnake Island. One vessel sunk. Second vessel suck. Great job, Antares. All enemy targets destroyed. Our PMC homeboys make it too easy. Our bombers and hunters are currently investigating Palm Island. We'll redirect units to hunt down potential tangos. We did it! Tell us safe once again. Ah, this is Harrier 1. All remaining hostile forces are surrendering. Cellwave, relay to command. The mercenaries are cutting and running. The nickel plant has done fucked up this time. About bloody time. Sunway to all units. All enemy installations are destroyed. Our ground force can mop up the rest. Mission complete. You are clear to return to base. Well, that was one hell of an eviction notice we gave them. When that bloke made the decision to start an uprising, we kinda had to draw the line. Now that capitalist can look forward to trial for all his crimes. He's not going to weasel his way out of this one. Ruslan, Don, Winter, you guys there? Ivis? Where are you now? 
on a Skymaster's plane bound for Canberra with Dr. Masters and Director Hobbs. We're going to bring the air-sea battle project to the Minister of Defense, as Parliament is currently discussing the future of defense. Meanwhile, we get our budget slashed like that. I don't like this any more than you do, Ruslan. But that's the way things are right now. A leadership spill at a time like this. ASIS Director Hobbs has just sent me a wire concerning my presence in the force. Oh, have they finally become suspicious of your age? Uh, I should have known that was going to happen. Yes, they have. It took them a while, but they finally found out that I arrived here at age 14. In that stupid con project, you were the most potential candidate. Yep. But why are you worried? You didn't come here of your own volition. It was those Strelkin thugs who made you come in here. Is that right? Yep, Ashley Bakura's team. But when war broke out in 2015, and when we killed all of them over Santorini, I did the investigators out of a job. But as long as I stay here, I'll be under the microscope. And let's just hope they don't dig deeper. Especially after those incidents that occurred last month, out west. But... I'll take it to the grave. Those people had it coming. Once the investigation is complete, they'll certainly try me. They might lock me up, or worse, sentence me to the Jindavik Squadron. Ooh, you'd still be able to serve. <laughs> yeah, as an expendable. But come on, you're old enough to be in the strike force now. But never tested or qualified. I think it'll soon be time to turn in the wings. Star Raven Squadron was great while it lasted. Well, whatever happens, we'll be on your side. Ah, there's the man of the hour. Hi, Miss Mike. Good to have you back with us. Yes, it is nice to be back here again. This was one of the few places that I could bring forth my innovations while not being a prisoner. Yeah, haven't you been captured four separate times now? Yep, one by you guys at Papua New Guinea, second by the Space Pirates, third by the Foundation, and fourth and final by Project 9. After working on that Interceptor Citadel, I thought we could use it for our own defense. But sadly, history repeated itself. And once we finished destroying the Citadel, I was only too grateful for her. Yep, quite so. You are a slave no more, my friend. What is that B-52 coming in right now? Yep, no ordinary Stratofortress right there. That's the AL-52 Dragon, the airborne laser. Fired from a truncated nose turret, the plasma-powered laser weakens the airframe of an ICBM until it explodes in flight. The laser can also be used on aircraft and even small missiles. Hot damn! Who's flying it? Major Karina Tu Ying. One of the best pilots we have for far away special operations that are meant to be invisible. And what about that one over there? It can't be. Is it really? Exile. Well, who'd have thunk it? The XDF project has come back to life. With board swept wings, laser weapon, this time, Exion is completely thought controlled by its pilot through a semi artificially intelligent computer called the Advanced Neural Transfer and Response System, Antares. The flight computer of the future. In fact, as you may know, everything is the future here. That's amazing. But enough, Dallin. Let's get to what we were talking about. Radio, looking forward to it. It's a great day for flying, anyhow. Alongside the AOQ-293 Spear Defensive System. A foreign affairs office has our team working round the clock. We will keep 
be posted if we learn anything about the enemy. Thanks very much, Director. My thanks to the Foreign Minister. Good luck. And do put the spy planes to good use. Thank you, sir. It's me. Hey, come in. So, Parliament is now leaning towards a revival, is it? In terms of defence? In terms of how they will address the situation? Not entirely. Choosing where to allocate valuable resources for regional defence is a difficult decision to the make. The winter has hit us hard, hasn't it? If we must make decisions in chaos and political fragmentation, then I guess it can't be helped. Well, I do feel sympathetic. They haven't as much time as we had to cope with the sudden changes. And on top of that, there's this air-sea battle project of Skymasters. I'm sure it's been quite a headache for the higher-ups. A new version was uploaded this morning. Did you read it? Yes, I do believe it will give us a fighting chance. Our dear scientist and esteemed commander have sure proven quite popular. Right when there's a threat looming nearby, we hear more about future prospects. That's one way to force a response from the government, or just simply to ridicule it. Lotus was not aware of the Australian government's plans. She was researching the air-sea battle project for her own reasons. But this thesis will prove useful in getting support for restoring order, since it shows how the Vrabak remnants can be defeated permanently. Unless you fought against the Foundation or Project 9, not much of it will make sense. It would all just seem like the senseless rambling of some lunatic. That much fear is harbored in Project 9. So, do you think their new project is just inane ramblings? No. On the contrary, I actually find it most intriguing. I think better of everyone involved. Lotus, Horatio, the Skyfighter Squadron. Project 9 was never invincible. The government may very well be to blame for failing to adequately respond. At least, that's how those brave souls feel. The only reason they were able to analyze such data was because of approval of ACES. Our alliance was only made possible by working together in Madcap Magician. Not just simply working together in the invasion. Are you implying that even if we knew the Foundation's connections in Indonesia, that we still would have ended up like this? Even when we did defeat the Foundation, we still had to face the Crystal Onslaught and go through everything that we did there. If the Interceptor Citadel was completed in time, would it still have fallen victim to cr the Crystals? An interesting thought. Well, I believe so. However, in the end, the Interceptor Citadel failed us. And we weren't able to keep that Director Campbell in order. So that's history now. The what-ifs remain only fantasy. So, Ivis, enjoying your country tour? Ugh, to think that several weeks ago, I was in the Winton Shire Hall discussing the fate of the Interceptor Citadel remains near Stonehenge, only to do that crazy stuff in Townsville, and then talk with Canberra. It's ridiculous. What does it look like for Canberra? Ah, uh, with a razor-thin majority in Parliament, PM Halifax is struggling to rebuild a consensus among members of his Australian Provisional Government and prevent the other side from winning elections next year. Until Australia solves the problems of parliamentary fragmentation, it will encounter difficulty in balancing tensions with China and political ties with the US. Due to Canberra's mixed signals on its ties with Beijing, China may choose to put a game in hold it until Australia's election next year. Or take advantage, what with the pandemic and the rising coalition amongst our neighbors, Exactamente! To ensure things don't get out of control is why this bird exists. Turning the Aardvark into a 5th gen fighter wasn't easy, but this will do easily what the RWF's F-35 is hard pressed to do. 
With my team, we have a chance. I'm sure of it. So let's talk Turkey a bit. What's it going to cost the Air Force to build your little fleet here? Nothing. Excuse me? Nothing? Sky Masters is making an investment in this project, not just trying to get a government contract. We want the Air Force to give us the engines, avionics, radars, weapons, fuel, and access to other aircraft, and access to aircraft and warbirds forever. All stuff the Air Force already has in abundance and taxpayers have already paid for. The company pays all the personnel costs, engineering, maintenance, air crew, support, staff, instructors, and the program's cancelled to get your hardware back. So what do you think, Mormack? Pretty damn good. You feel like making the landing? Damn right I do, sir. Damn right I do. Now all we need to worry about is Orpheus. Ah, uh, yes. I don't like talking about that. I am Captain Svitko Salyut, a member of Project 9, now known as one of the Forsaken. I was the most skilled fighter pilot in all Croatia. I went on to join the Vrabak Foundation, where I flew a four-plane coordinated attack formation, which at the time was so effective that even in training it forced our leader to push his skills just to keep up. I participated in the Iron War and was later deployed to Queensland where my mission was to end the ongoing standoff within the area and secure a victory until ISAF reinforcements came in and we were all shot down. Having served as the Strigoi leader in their Project 9 reincarnation, I led the way back into Queensland. I was feeling the effects of genetic alterations and scientific additions to help me survive. We all thought it was so promising. And then the citadel we captured came crashing down. And I was condemned to here, in Indonesia, training Air Force pilots to help my men seize political control, while at the same time making the decision to convert my brain into an artificial intelligence inhabiting a mechanically driven corpse that used to be my body. That's my comrade, Lieutenant Valery Nikitov. Once an ace pilot in the Vrabach Navy's Atlantic Fleet, he was supposed to defend the headquarters and fight to the death if necessary. He took off into the skies and was shot down by the same squadron that shot me down. Ah, Privyet, salut. Ah, Valet. Kakshut for you, Sevier, no. Perevoshike. <laughs> <laughs> Nashar glove nayat cell, visit Sechas. If see Yeshi Stremimsia, Kutomo Novomo, Milvomo, Poyadku, Kotori, Zephal, Lanyakov. And then of a demo vestile et or dealer Sevia? Feb C. Slomalis Voy, Generica Shesi Cod? Is a blatiza et or Sechas, Spasimo et em Uchenem. T. Prava. Nina Kod Yashia Sia, Bodu Grozoi, Is Chesnovenia Vidi, Siostaki, Rabak, Umrayut, Project 9, Dojo Vishat. So glassing, yet Tebi Pomogu. Hmm, Irazdavan Beseg Edek Suk, Me, Budem, Brinkford Hos Yashim, Shelevacom. If you see Yashay, Sita Yete Sebia, Shalovikom? Yes. Samo Shuse Sovani Projecta. Eto Tra Gidia. Sama Posebe. Tarasio. Mi Dolni Pomos Generalu. Postroit Avrimio. Yes, we may call him Dolshev Nashik Selly. Unas, yes. 
nastiest necobdemi control. Ah, Satan's butter's royal. <laughs> oh, da, Tomerish. <laughs> now our quest will resume, and Isaf and the Southern Front will be destroyed once and for all. Indonesia was always a secret ally of ours. Thanks to them in East Timor, we could have a platform for spreading our power in Asia and the Pacific. Our general and the Indonesian president Saleh will lead the way in bringing our forces to new heights for another conquest. We have the control we desire. We're joining forces with countries with mutual goals. After the second civil war in Cambodia, and the Thailand Opium War, the political situation in Southeast Asia shook and withered. In the wake of this, the armies of Indonesia, Brunei, the Cambodian interim government, Laos and Myanmar have created the Coalition Nations, with East Timor and Malaysia readying to join us along with Chinese support. We will have that sweet power to annex those who do not stand. Revenge will be ours, and most of all, to me personally, I will find and destroy that scheming, death-cheating Irish aviator myself. <laughs>